Three Eye Atlas will only be in the solar system for a very limited amount of time, after which we'll never see it again. During its perihelion, or its closest approach to the Sun, Earth will be on the opposite side of the solar system, with the Sun blocking our view. Luckily for us, we have a lot of spacecraft out and about that could observe it during that time. Which spacecraft am I talking about, and what observations are they capable of making? Let's get into it. The three big opportunities are with the Psyche spacecraft in September, several missions around Mars in October, and the JUICE spacecraft in November. First up, Psyche, a probe designed to study asteroids which is currently in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It gets a close look on September 4th. Its main job will be to help us understand the comet's dust by taking pictures from a unique angle that we can't get from Earth. This tells us about the size and composition of the dust particles flying off it. Then, in early October, it's Mars's turn. The orbiters there, like NASA's MRO and the UAE's HOPE probe, will be closer to 3i than any other mission. Their high-resolution cameras will get our best pictures of the coma. Crucially, the HOPE spacecraft's ultraviolet spectrometer will attempt to detect hydrogen in the coma, which would confirm the presence of water ice, a huge discovery for an interstellar object. But the MVP might be ESA's JUICE spacecraft on its way to Jupiter. Its closest approach is on November 4th, just days after the comet's perihelion, when it's completely hidden from Earth. JUICE has a powerful imaging spectrometer called MAGIS that can detect gases like carbon dioxide and water vapor in the comet's tail. It might even detect complex organic molecules called PAHs, which could tell us if this object formed in a harsh early period of our galaxy's history. Lastly, spacecraft like Europa Clipper, Lucy and Hera might even fly through 3 Eyes cometary tail in October, potentially directly sampling its material. So, while Earth is left in the dark, this fleet of robotic explorers will be our eyes and ears, collecting the only data we may ever get on this ancient visitor from the thick disk of our galaxy. It's an incredible, unplanned coordination of missions that could help us understand how planets form. Until next time, stay stellar!